taking AP Human Geography. Everyone says it's really hard, and I'm afraid that I'm going to fail. I'm also afraid that I'm not going to have enough time studying that I need for the class. Should I drop out? Thanks for the advice. Anonymous freshman, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Your freshman year, you have to take either AP Human Geography or World History. AP Human Geography is a challenging course. It's all about the geography of people around the world, and then at the end of the year, you can take an AP exam over it. And then World History is the base for history at DB, and we're going to have Ms. Holbert tell you more about that now. So, world history is important for freshmen to take, number one, because it gives you an introduction to history here at Dobbins Bennett. The second thing it does is it prepares you for all of the classes that you're going to take in order of getting you organized and turning things in and giving you a good foundation for the rest of your histories. And mostly, it's a lot of fun because we do arts and crafts and we tell great stories. We're much better than Mr. Francis human geography class. Dear Kendall, I have no clue how math at Dobbins Bennett works. There are so many different classes. How can I possibly understand them all? Three of my freshman friends and I all have signed up for different math classes. How does this work? Please help. Sincerely, a nervous math student. Well, let me show you. All right, if you're in Math 8 right now or pre-algebra, you will more than likely be in Algebra 1 when you get to Dobbins Bennett, and that will determine your math course for the most part of the rest of your four years here. If you took Algebra 1 your eighth grade then, year, then you're probably going to take Geometry your freshman year of high school. So for Algebra 2, we found this guest speaker, Laura. Can you tell us about your experience with Algebra 2 as a freshman? <laughs> it's okay kids, you don't need to be scared about Algebra 2. If you've taken Geometry in 8th grade, then this will be your chosen path if you decide not to go to Honors Algebra 2. But you're going to have class with a lot of upperclassmen, such as sophomores and juniors, but trust me, you'll be fine in the end. You'll get a nice basis of Algebra 2 and be ready to go on to future math courses. If you guys have heard in the past about a track called Unified, the name has changed now and it's Honors Algebra 2. So if you start in Honors Algebra 2, then you'll go through the previous Unified Tract, which is Honors Pre-Cal and Trig in your sophomore year, junior year is the first half of Calculus, and senior year is the second half of Calculus. And if you do that, it's a whole track, but it's called Honors Algebra 2, and it's just a little bit more challenging than regular Algebra 2, and you're with freshmen completely. And if you do take it, uh, you don't have to get stuck in that track. You can always drop down. I, for one, took Unified 9, and then just kind of kept going with the other classes because I felt like I could do better. Biology is a required course you have to take before you graduate high school. Most people take this their freshman year. If you really want to challenge yourself or you're good at biology or science, you might want to take honors biology your freshman year. However, if you would like an, a little bit, something that's a little bit easier, earth science is the path for you as it's not as challenging as biology, but it is still a very good science class. If you want to take honors biology, it's just like the normal biology class, but you go more in depth and you kind of challenge yourself a little bit for those who really like biology or want to have a challenge for your freshman year. Chemistry is a required course that you have to take Chem 1 by the time you leave high school. Most people take this their sophomore year, but if you really want to challenge yourself, you can take it the spring of your freshman year, and that would be honors Chem 1, which again is a little bit more challenging than Chem 1 regular. No matter where you start in high school, even if you're taking regular general biology, you can always still end up taking AP and Honors Biology too, like I did. Yeah, I took Honors Biology as a freshman, and then up junior year, I took Honors Biology too and AP Biology, like Kendallin. I did the same thing. I took the Honors Biology, but then I ended up in AP in my senior year. It really doesn't matter when you end up doing the AP, or if you even end up doing the AP at all, you can start wherever. English and I'm really nervous because English is not my best subject. Should I drop it? Sincerely, George Bush. 
Honors English is a good entry class in a high school. It'll teach you how to write a more cohesive essay and prepare you for future cl English classes like AP and dual enrollment. Make sure if you do honors or pre-AP to read the required reading so you don't struggle throughout the class. business classes um, at Dobbins Bennett. Intro to Marketing, Marketing 1, Marketing 2, Entrepreneurship, and Advertising and Public Relations. These are great classes to take in high school if you're interested. Criminal Justice is one of the, one of the many CTE classes that you can take. Uh, it has four different classes. So you have an intro and then you have Criminal Justice 1, 2, and 3. If you're into anything from law to law enforcement or anything else in the criminal justice system, this is the class for you. Culinary Arts is another one of the many classes that you could take here in CTE. There is Culinary 1 through 4, and when you reach 4, you will be combined with one of the lower culinary classes, and you will be a teacher helper. And this is a really great class to take if you love cooking. Along with Culinary Arts, Criminal Justice, and Business in the CTE building, they also have Health Sciences, Computer Applications, Cosmetology, Health Sciences, and so many classes in between. So if you're interested in one of these courses, then just look at the DB course catalog on the website and check them out. Fiber Arts is a fun class where you learn how to do beading and 